if you follow news regularly then you would have heard about 1998 oha 2 this is basically the name of an asteroid the hype about this asteroid is that it will be orbiting very close to earth on april 29 2020 now does this possess any threat to our planet earth which group of asteroid does it belong to all these things will be answered in this video so stay tuned so to start with let us first understand the difference between meteoroid meteors meteorites asteroids and comets so meteoroid is basically a space rock and usually its size is less than a meter hence the name meteoroid these fall on the surface of the earth many times but due to the dense atmosphere of the earth the size of these meteors gets even more reduced so this does not do any harm to human life now next come meteors a meteoroid that enters the earth's atmosphere becomes a meteor due to our dense atmosphere it burns up as it travels through the atmosphere generally we call it as shooting star so this is a meteor this is a meteorite and this is how it looks like in comparison to an asteroid now next come meteorites the left of particle of these meteors which do not burn up and falls on the surface of the earth is called a meteorite so this is how it looks now you can see this is a bit burned up next what comes is an asteroid these are rocks that are made up of metallic or non metallic bodies the size ranges from few meters to thousand of kilometers usually found in the asteroid belt between mars and jupiter so let's now see what asteroid belt is so this is mars and this is jupiter and there is a thick belt of asteroid this region is known as asteroid belt comet these are usually located outside of our solar system and these are made up of chunk of rock and ice it has a bright long tail this is how it looks like so this is the tail of the comet and this is the head of the comet and this is how an asteroid looks let's get back to the asteroid that will be passing the surface of the earth on april 29th so this has been named 1998 oa2 the name has been given because it was discovered in the year 1998 it will be orbiting the sun so this is the trajectory with which the 1998 oa2 asteroid will be passing the earth this is our planet earth and this is the sun the distance with which it will be passing the earth will be 6.3 million kilometers also nasa has identified it as a potentially hazardous object moreover the asteroid comes under the group of apollo group the size of which ranges from 2 to 4 kilometers in diameters so what basically are apollo group of asteroid so based on the distance of these asteroids from the planet earth these are broadly categorized into four types the one is athira group these asteroids are inside the orbit of the earth and are called as inner earth objects so this is our planet earth this is sun and this is the orbit of the earth the asteroid this green belt is actually the athira group of asteroids the next group of asteroids are atm group and apollo group so these asteroids exist inside the earth's orbit as well as outside of it this is how it exists and uh, this is our earth this is the orbit of the earth and uh, these can be inside as well as outside the last group consists of the amor group these asteroids are very far away from the orbit of the earth and they usually don't enter the earth orbit so this is our amor group of orbit you can see this is these uh, asteroids are very close to the main asteroid belt and uh, here is our earth so these are far away from the mass also so now we know the 1998 oa2 asteroid belongs to the apollo group now the funny thing about this asteroid is that amid the coronavirus pandemic the asteroid is bringing its own mask yeah you heard me right the asteroid looks like it is wearing a face mask so this is the picture of the asteroid this is actually the radar image and you can see it resembles somewhat of mask so this actually is the radar image of the 1998 oa2 asteroid so that's all for today's video if you guys like this information do like my video and also subscribe the channel for more such updates thank you folks